Welcome to the Visual Studio tutorial, Making an Application Beep. My name is Keith Elder, and I'll be walking you through this very short tutorial. Let's get started. From the File menu in Visual Studio, let's select New and then Project. Within the Visual C Sharp Programming Language section, we're going to choose Windows Application and give our application a name called Make a Beep. Once our template is initialized, we're presented with a Windows form. Let's take the form and simply resize it. Within the toolbox menu of Visual Studio, the, the .NET framework provides us a lot of different options that we can use to visually design our applications. In this case, we're just going to select a button and drag and drop the button onto our form. Once the button is onto our form, we're going to select the F4 key, which is going to jump us into the properties window. Go down to the text property of the button and let's give it a better name. So instead of button 1, let's change it to make a noise. When we do that though, we'll notice that make a noise doesn't fit with inside of the button. We can fix that though very easily by going up to the auto size property and changing it to true. Now our text fits. Within Visual Studio in the C Sharp programming language, we have things that we call events. Those events can be viewed from the properties window of, of any object from the designer. In the case of a button that we want to make a noise, within Visual Studio we can shortcut this by simply double clicking it and it will create the event for us for the click event. Within inside the click event, we simply call out to the framework and call console.beep. This is basically going to make a beep noise on the computer. Well, inside of Visual Studio, the first thing we want to do before we launch our application is just make sure that it builds. And we'll notice that we have a build succeeded once we did that. Now we just need to launch our application. We can select the play button here to start debugging. But since we don't really want to debug, let's just select Control F5, which starts the application, but it doesn't launch the debugger as well. So our application will launch a lot faster. Application launched within a few milliseconds. And we'll notice that our application looks exactly the same that it did in Visual Studio. To test our functionality, we click the button and our computer beeps. That's it. My name is Keith Elder. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You can find more information about Visual Studio and building Windows applications at my blog at keithelder.net slash blog. Thank you.